Hi, this is John C. Murphy for No Part Dark. In this video, I will go over Cinema 4D's Clotilda tag, which is used for cloth simulation. It's quite easy to use, but there is a catch, as you'll see. If we start with a plane object, which most closely represents a piece of cloth, then increase the number of segments to make it a little smoother, then, with that plane selected, if we go to Tags, Clotilda Tag, Cloth, we get a tag that supplies a bunch of forces to the object. Now force implies dynamics, that is movement, so let's see what happens if we click the play animation button. It should start falling or something under the influence of gravity, but it doesn't. So here's the trick. We need to make the object editable by clicking this icon or using the keyboard shortcut C. Now if we play it, the object will be influenced by gravity and fall downward. Of course, this isn't a proper demonstration of the cloth effect, so let's move the cloth plane up along the y-axis. Actually, we need to delete the cloth tag in order to be able to move the plane. Now we can slide the plane up and add another object to the scene that the cloth can collide with. We also need to remember to replace the cloth tag to the plane object. If we hit play now, we see the cloth plane falls right through the other object. And this is not because we failed to make the new object editable. Instead, it is because we neglected to tell Cinema 4D to treat this like a collision object. So with the new object selected, go to Tags, Clotilda Tag, Collider. Now the cloth plane will fall and wrap around the object. Cool. A good exercise for learning more about the cloth tag is to make a flag. So delete everything, start with a plane primitive, scale it to make it more rectangular, rotate it upright, then make it editable, and add the Clotilda Tag. You can also add a texture if you like and maybe a background image as well. For the flag effect, we need to affix two of the corners. So switch to point mode, shift click to select two of the corner points, then on the Clotilda Tag's dresser tag, find fix points and press set. Now if we hit play, we see that it sort of looks like a flag, but a limp one. And this provides a good opportunity to play around with the cloth tag settings. For instance, on the forces tab, we can tell the wind to blow in the positive x direction. Note that you also need to increase the wind strength setting in order for this to work. So this works, but the flag looks a little too floppy. So go to the Tag tab and increase the stiffness. Play around with some of the other settings as well. And now we have a decent flag simulation. Nice!